What is up and is going on guys, Simpsy here, and first things first, I just want to apologise. I've somehow misplaced or deleted, I just don't know what I've done with it. Um, I've lost the quarterfinals match against Manchester United, the second match, so I do apologise about that, but there's nothing I can do, I can't seem to find it. But hey, sometimes that happens, you delete it, but um, I really do apologise about that. So we ended up beating Manchester United, first things, let's get into that. We ended up beating them 3-2, and that put us 5-3 on aggregate, and that put us into the semi-finals of the Champions League. So we're going to be continuing to push up into that. The semi-finals we have against Barca. <laughs> Typical, we're versing Yang and Biwa, my former player, and Real Madrid are versing Paris Saint-Germain. But guys, we have two matches in today's episode, two matches in the Premier League. We have one match against Tottenham Hotspur, and then we actually have a match against Manchester United, which is quite interesting. But just to quickly recap the last episode, we ended up winning 4-0 over Bayern Munich. We ended up winning 4-1 over Aggregate, and we absolutely 100% deserve to win this match. But guys, look at the fixtures I've got up this calendar in April. Absolutely ridiculous. You must welcome to pause and have a look. Benzema ended up getting the man of the match. Grenier managed to score his first goal in the Champions League in a Newcastle United jumper. Wellington Silva, my God, man. That goal running down the wing with the Ronaldo chop, the hocus-pocus, the scoop turn, gets it back onto his right foot, puts it into the top right past Manuel Neuer. That was probably one of my most favorite goals of the season. He just absolutely did the Bayern Munich defense. And Remy Cabela actually picked up the other goal. I don't know why Bayern were playing a three at the pack formation, but we absolutely punished them because of it. We ended up beating Manchester United in the second match in that episode 2-1, and Wellington Silva, man, he is a superstar, and I really can't wait to uh, continue to play with him. But we do start off the scoring here against Tottenham Hotspur just before the 30th minute in the form of the Serbian Matic. Jovetic manages to find, that's, I do believe that's Santon. I don't know why Santon's been pushing up so much lately, but he managed to get the tramp on. The Serbian manages to get his big stonker left foot onto it and makes it 1-0. So it's going to be interesting to see if we can beat Barcelona. But guys, if you have a look at our side, our side is so, it's like so solid now. Ben, this is not like the same Newcastle that started at the start of the season. We have evolved, we have adapted, and we have such a strong side, you might not realize. Benzema is an 88 overall. Jovetic is robbed being an 83 overall, by the way. We have Remy Cabela and Greatsman as both 85 overalls, the Cams. And my two centre defensive mids are 85 overall in Matic and Paul Pogba. So my whole team pushing forward is Above 85 overall, we've got to save. Jovetic, for some reason, is just not going up in stats. He's scored, like, he's just been the top goal scorer of the club. He's just been absolutely ridiculous. Why he's, he's just such a fantastic player. He definitely should be higher than an 83. Obviously, I am a little bit lacking in my defensive, like, stats-wise. But Santon and Stiglio are solid, and so is Langerak. And speaking of Jobatic here, he scores another goal for the club. Absolutely fantastic. Past the Tottenham Hotspur goalkeeper at White Hart Lane. So, we are really going to be competing. And I wouldn't even be surprised if we have a higher rating than some of these um, European teams like Bayern Munich. Obviously, Mario Goetze will be coming to the club next season. But guys, let me know in the comment section down below where do you think I'll finish this season. But like with letting in goals like that, how I've just had a massive rant on how fantastic the team is. I didn't say I'm good. <laughs> I just said that the team's solid. Suzoko on the ball coming off the bench, finds Paul Pogba and Wellington Silva scores another goal. And he's just been on fire the last couple of episodes coming off the bench and half the time sealing the deal or starting off just, he's just on fire. <sighs> Wellington Silva, what, what a fantastic youngster. He's got such a promise at Newcastle United. But, um, yeah, guys, let me know in the comment section down below. Um, if you'd like me to do Season 4 of the Newcastle United career mode, I guess it kind of depends if I win the Champions League and the league. But um, I would like to go to a new club. I guess I can't really tell you what that is because I don't know the Browse job offers just yet. Tarat running down the wing managed to get his shot off. It gets spilled to the feet of... Jovetic, he manages to pick up the crumbs 
and makes it 4-2, picking up another goal for this match. So, well-deserved victory at White Hart Lane. Unfortunately, we did concede two goals. Langerak didn't get the clean sheet. But in the end, it was a, a good victory nonetheless. So, guys, if you are enjoying this FIFA 15 Newcastle United career mode, I would really appreciate it if you could leave a simple like on this video. It only takes a second. It really puts my channel out there because I do put a lot of effort into these videos. And, uh, yeah. So, also, we're talking on likes and whatnot. If, you've ever, if you have ever left a like on one of my videos, a favorite, a comment, or you've subscribed because of this Newcastle United series, I really do appreciate it. I uh, wouldn't be where I am as a YouTuber without you guys' support. Now, I do do a bit of a rotation into the squad because we have just so many matches coming up. And Ben Zemmer and Jovetic are absolutely stumped for that match at Tottenham. So it's good to see, like, we've got so much squad depth as well. We've got Grenier, we've got Adelta Rat, we've got Ramirez. We, unfortunately, we did sell Pastore to Juventus. But we've just got so much squad depth, and I just really can't wait um, to find out the result, whether or not we do win the Champions League, whether or not we don't, it's going to be interesting regardless. But we do have a home match against Manchester United at St. James's Park. And you guessed it, of course, it's fucking raining. So I really do profusely, I really, really am sorry about that, guys, but there's nothing I can do. My hands are tied. It just, it, I don't know where it just fucked off somewhere, which is disappointing. We're currently leading the Premier League by 14 points, which is good to see. A fail, a fail through ball from Antonio Graceman, but we do manage to get it back here. Parejo manages to... I, I don't want to call him Parejo. I think that's how you say his name. I'm, I'm never too sure. I'm just going to call him Daniel. But Antonio Graceman nearly starts off the scoring, firing one at David De Gea. And last time we versed uh, Manchester United, it was pretty much the Valencia. So, and Danny whew, missed a woeful ball here. Parejo on the, I'm going to call him fucking Danny on the ball here, manages to get his shot off the Spaniard, it manages to hit David De Gea's arm, but it's still nil-nil against Manchester United, Valencia whips it in to Marcus Rojo, but Jovetic off the bench, because he was benched, manages to get the Ronaldo chop off, and what in the fuck, how is that not a penalty, is that just me or... I don't know, but we unfortunately end up drawing nil-nil against United, which is not good. But that's uh, going to make this series even in even more interesting uh, nonetheless. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you've watched all the way through, I really do appreciate it. Make sure to leave a like on this video to support this series and my channel. And, of course, I'll be bringing more career mode tomorrow out for you guys. Thanks a bunch for watching. Simpsy out.